Hey everyone, Chosen Viper here. How's it going? Yeah, well, anyway, I'm just here to give a brief review about these two really cool um, Xbox 360 games that I've been uh, playing recently. And yes, I'm actually talking about the Condemned series. For so, uh, Condemned One, uh, it's uh, actually a really, really fun game. Like it really lets you. Uh, it's a basically a first-person shooter slash be beat 'em up kind of game. It's like you go around as Ethan Thomas, you know, just. Uh, grabbing like melee weapons or even guns and just bashing your enemies with them or shooting them in the head. But it's, uh, it's really dark, gritty, and satisfying. You can see, yes, Red at M, it's kind of bloody and stuff, but hey, that, that, I guess that's what you'd expect from the front cover, and yeah. Also, what's really cool about this game is that you can use like, basic like, gadgets to investigate crime scenes, and it's a really interesting feature in it. And so when I heard they, that they were doing a, a sequel of it, Condemn the Bloodshot 2, I was really interested in trying it out. Only the first time I tried it out, at first I, I really wasn't, you know, that uh, impressed by it. But then I went, I, I went to go rent it again, and I actually kind of liked it. So uh, I, I bought it. See here, uh, here, and yes, um, uh, interesting front cover, right? Uh, yeah, I, uh, someone's creepy eye come through a hotel door. And so yes, a lot of upgrades have been made for this game. Your life bar looks different, as well as you know the melee weapons. You can get more of them, as well as different weapons and. The only problem is that your taser actually runs out, and in this game, it only like recharged for briefly. But yeah, you can use it to shock your enemies and disarm them with their weapons. Another awesome feature. Yeah, and sometimes you can just execute them in an awesome way. There's this one character in it, who, like you can this boss where you can just grab this person's head and smash into this gear machine and like some kind of press. And yeah, that was really awesome. It was this doll character and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Even investigating the crime scenes, even investigating the uh, crime scenes can actually be different as well. It's like you're actually given like questions to to determine how the scene looks, and depending on them, if you answer correctly, it will grade you whether you are perfect, average, uh, low, or really poor at it. And basically, the, the whole goal is to get perfect in each one, as well as listening to news announcements. Because in the first game, you really didn't listen to to, to news announcements. Yeah, and in the second one, you can listen to announcements by on like on old TVs or old radios, and oh, but yeah, one awesome pretty one awesome scene in this is when, well, um, I guess my favorite, my two favorite moments would be when a bear chases you through a cabin, and also when these armored cr things tr chase you through a ship, like you use these uh, kind of interesting advantages to like, get past them. As well as the the people in armored, yeah, the only way to beat them is to use a crane to actually magnetate them upward and then carry them over to a metal press and then crush them and yeah it's uh and it's awesome stuff ethan thomas also looks a little bit in different in this one than he does in this one he like he looks a little bit more badass and yeah that, that's him on the back and so yeah uh, i don't know if you were interested in checking these games out uh, i think you should if you can stand the side of gore and blood and, but uh yeah i thought they were great and so that's my opinion and, uh, with, and with all that, uh, this is Chosen Viper, saying an idea is everything.